must have been a wonderful thing to be a disciple of the Lord in the first century. Can you imagine being in the presence of Jesus day in and day out? To spend time with him, to talk with him, to walk with him, to eat with him, to tell stories with him, just to be in his presence. I wonder what it was like to be a disciple in the first century and to see their friend, their Lord, be taken away only to be crucified, not only for their benefit, but for the benefit of the whole world. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 28, after Jesus had been crucified and after he had been buried in the sepulcher, that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. And when they got there, they found the tomb empty. And of course, there was the angel that appeared unto them and told them that Jesus was no longer there. And as they were leaving the tomb to go, as the angel had told them to do, and talk with the disciples and share with them the news that the Lord had been resurrected, they met Jesus on the road. They, of course, said, all hail, and began to worship Jesus. Jesus told Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to go tell the disciples to make their way to Galilee, and they will see me there. In Matthew chapter 28, and verse 16, the Bible says that the disciples, upon hearing the news, they made their way to Galilee into the mountain as the Lord had appointed them. Did you know that God has made several appointments with you? This Lord's Day at the Piedmont Road Church of Christ, I intend to talk about some of them. I hope you'll join us on that day, this Sunday, at 1030 for worship. Come early at 930 for Bible study. Hope to see you then. Until then, God bless.